What is up, y'all? I know it's been a minute since I've posted. We're back, and I got to get back on the grind of posting videos. Oh my God, listen! All right, uh, we got a pretty warm day out here. You can tell it's about to be 80 today. Um, it was 50 yesterday. Like, got you just gotta love the Georgia weather. You just got to. Uh, but as you can tell, this truck. It's dirty, so of course we're going to be detailing it. But that's, I'm not going to slap another detailing video on you guys. I'm going to go kind of over what's wrong with the truck and what I want to fix. You got a new CV axle. Uh, they fixed some transmission lines and my uh, power steering pump. Uh, that's what I mean. That was some stuff I just didn't want to do. Yeah, they got it done in like a day. I have my truck back the next day. But I'm going to clean this thing up, and then we're going to kind of do a walk around on the truck of really kind of what I want to do with it because I did <laughs> I don't know why but this past week I posted up for sale just to see if I got any hits on it and I actually had a good amount of people text me saying that they wanted it I had some dude tell me he'd bring me money today all the way from Savannah but I took it off because I'm not quite done with it yet it's still it's still my baby but let's get this thing washed up Okay, so last time you saw me, I had on a different shirt, and my truck was dirty. Uh, I don't want to film cleaning the truck. I don't want to bore y'all with another detailing video, but I did go clean the crap out of it. Uh, best I could, at least. Even got the inside. What the hell? Even got the inside cleaned. Uh, just because it was pretty dirty from working and stuff. Just throwing my crap back here. Um. Uh, so, like I said, I wanted to go over kind of like what was not really wrong with the truck, but like what I wanted to do to the truck here in the near future because it's about to be show season and oh. sweet, but it's about to be show season and I wanted to go to some shows like Myrtle, oh God, like Myrtle, uh, maybe Orange Beach Invasion and like uh, definitely Daytona, definitely do want to make Daytona this year, but um, first off. I got my subs in the back seat. I finally found a box that fits under the seat. Scar actually makes it. Um, and so that's how they came out with that. So these are uh, two tins, the shallow mounts. I forget what line they were, but they're two shallow mount uh, Scar tins. And they made a box that goes under here. So I'm gonna get that so I can have my back seat back because he's been here for a minute and I kind of miss having my back seat. Uh, you know, I don't ride in it, but like carrying people around. Whatever. Uh, another thing that I want to try and do with the truck is I mean, I really do. I like the red and the black look. But I think I want to go chrome. Uh, just because it'll match. It'll match the lift. The lift's gray. And I do want to get new traction bars too, eventually. Uh, but it'll match the lift because the lift is silver. The wheels will be chrome. It'll match. A little bit better um and it, it's just a lot cleaner the red and black's cool but it's not really what i want anymore i thought i thought it'd be sweet to have but i mean it does match all the black trim and all that uh but i feel like i'd color match that i'd probably leave the headlights like they are um unless i absolutely wanted to change them out i'd probably just leave them like that but i do want to get like some chrome uh some chrome wheels, either like some 2414 or 2614. I don't really want 16 wides because 16 wides come with 16 wide problems, and I don't want any part of that. Um, oh, yeah, the tail lights. I kind of do want to color match the tail lights and the third brake light just because I mean, they go now with the black look. I mean, or then again, I might just get like some bigger, like 2614 black wheels. I don't know. I really want to get off these hostile and furies. I don't like these furies. They are. I measure them out. They measure up to like 34 inches. 34. No, it's like 33 and a half. 
So not even a 35, um, not, not a 15 wide. And I mean, it's just, I don't know, not what I wanted. And when I wanted a 14 wide, I didn't want a 12 wide lift and a two inch pushback. So this setup is, I don't want it anymore. I don't want, it's not what I wanted. I thought it's what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. But uh, I really do want to go in and change the truck up. Uh, but yeah, I think I want to go chrome with the truck, chrome accents, all that good stuff. Uh, and then maybe a paint job. Uh, I mean, from afar, the paint looks amazing. But you get close up, it's got a few little bubbles. And then, uh, I mean, it has the scratches and stuff. And then when I took off the molding, you can't really tell on the camera. Maybe you can. But yeah, you can right here. The oxidation from where I took off the molding, it's two tone, two different colors. I and mean, like just like little dings and stuff. So I'd really like to get a new paint job on the truck. But that's not dire. That's not like I absolutely want it. I mean, I do absolutely want it. I don't want to not say that. But like, it's not, I don't need it. And then another thing I want to do is some performance stuff under the hood. Uh, here in the near future, um, I'm going to do not long tubes because they're not going to fit. Because, like I said, I had, I had to get the uh, the high flow cats because of the way my compression struts sit. It's the same, almost the same reason why I can't get long tubes is because there's not enough. There's, I mean, there's really not enough room to fit them in there. Uh, the way I got everything set up, so uh, I'm gonna do shorties because they'll mount up just like the stock ones, and then uh, cold air and taking a tune, maybe a cam, maybe not a cam. I don't know. I'm not fully convinced I need one, but also. Uh, I am getting new upper control arms. That's the very next thing I'm doing because every time, every time I see JW or every time I go to dealer options, Connor or uh, JW will tell me I need new upper control arms because I mean I do. But I finally found some some Cognito ones. Uh, -uh. and my buddy actually has them Dayton, and he said they ride amazing because he has the uh, the Ford keys and he's got them maxed all the way out. And he's said you can't tell, you can't even tell. So, definitely gonna get the Cognito uppers next. And then I also gotta get my rear shocks fixed. Um, so, I thought, and like everybody else, the body of the shock's supposed to be down. Well, it's not, as you can tell. So now these shocks are blown out, they're supposed to go the other way. Dealer options actually, they said you can go either way, but Every, every other truck I've seen, the shocks are always flipped down the other way. So when you hit a bump, it compresses the shock, therefore not causing it to blow the shock out. So I need to get that fixed. Connor at Red Deal Options, he went ahead and emailed my boys to get the new shocks to get them under warranty because I haven't, I mean, I haven't had them a year. I haven't had any of this year. Uh, it's coming up though. It is coming up. But I got to get that fixed before I do anything. Then the Cognito uppers. I'm gonna make sure I don't have any other mechanical problems or anything like that that needs to be addressed first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some performance stuff and uh, try and get on a new setup during that. Cause I really feel like this thing would be huge. Cause I mean, I got it at nine in the front. But I mean, the tires just kill it. But the side profile of the truck's just like, it just looks tiny. The wheels, or the tires just look tiny. Why in the front of the truck, I mean. <laughs> She's a thick girl. But those will be probably the next few things to do that I want to do. And then uh, definitely some formats, as you can see. No, it's not a rust hole. The guy before me, it was just where he put his foot and it rubbed a hole in the middle. So I really kind of want to get that fixed. Maybe get some new carpet. Or just slap the floor mat over it, call it a day. But I do want to get some floor mats, uh, and then a box, and maybe a starlight headliner. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if I'm sold on that either. Uh, but we got plans for this truck. I'm keeping it throughout 2021, maybe 2022. We'll see. Uh, I did. I did actually post this thing up for sale uh, yesterday uh, just to see if I could get any bites or anything and people wanted this truck. 
So I decided I'm gonna keep it, make it worth its while, and then sell it because it's gonna be worth it. Um, because I mean, I just don't see me going out and buying a new truck and redoing everything right here at show season. So I'm gonna just ride it out, do what I want to it, and have fun with it. I mean, it's a cat eye. Who doesn't love a cat eye? Unless it's a Sierra, a 05 Sierra. Like dad's old truck here. I told him if he ever gets rid of it, to let me know, because this would be a sweet project truck. He's had this truck since, I think, 2006 or 2005. I think he bought it brand new. But his truck's got like 250,000 miles on the body, brand new motor and trans. But, uh, I mean, the body doesn't need any work. It just needs a paint job and a little bit of, just needs a little touch up. So if he ever decides to sell that, I'm gonna buy it, make that a project truck. So I have two classic bodies, one Silverado and one Sierra. And uh, that'll be some cool content if he ends up doing that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But that's the plans for the truck. What's wrong with it, what's not wrong with it. I mean, it's not really, I won't say it's in bad shape at all, but it had its, it's an old truck, it's classic body trucks, so it's gonna have its few little problems. But I mean, I think it's just mainly stuff I wanna do to the truck. I also contemplated taking the lift off and getting it powder coated, but the silver actually really goes with the truck and what I want to do with it. So instead of powder coating the lift, a whole new color, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to get, whenever I get new cognito over control arms, I'm going to powder coat those to match the lift and it'll look pretty clean. So, uh, I mean, I like this over, honestly, that's how it comes. I always thought it was white. When JW had his LOY, I always thought the lift kit came white. So whenever I was ordering mine, I was like, really want to get the lift powder coated, like either like silver or red or something like that. I was like, oh, well it comes silver. But uh, yeah, so the lift comes silver. I like the way it comes, so we're just gonna leave it. That way, <laughs> I don't have to get anything powder coated. But I mean, for the first time in months, I can see my reflection in my paint. So, shout out to duck season for being a thing and making this rig dirty. Uh, but yeah. Let me know, uh, I know it's kind of like a short, sweet, simple video of me just going over my truck, uh, but I haven't uploaded in a while, it's something to post and I'm going to start to try and upload once every week, uh, so I can get back on the YouTube grind. Uh, so let me know kind of what content y'all want to see. Truck content, thinking about buying a four-wheeler, uh, do some riding content, it'd be fun, who knows. Um, guy with a project truck he's got a uh, like a 2000s year down the road uh, but let me know what kind of content y'all want to see appreciate the view thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for another transformation of this truck I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it a bad little rig um, but yeah appreciate the view see you guys next time